Okay, so peel the onion. Not too small. Oh. <laughs> Start off everybody, my name is Nixon Clark and I'd like to introduce you to a very, very special queen in my life. This is my beautiful Nana. Say hi Nana. Hello everyone. <laughs> She's using her Balangi voice. For Samoan Language Week, we decided that in a way that we communicate is not just with our tongue, but also with the way that we feed ourselves. So I thought, you know what, to embrace my culture, I would um, get some help from my Nana to learn a typical Samoan dish. You may know it as sapasui, if not, chop suey, which I want to give credit to the Asians for, but Samoans have claimed it and we're going to learn how to make it my nana's way. What's the meat that we're using today? Today we're going to use pork. Okay, we washed our hands guys, we washed our hands because yes, it's important. <laughs> so no one gets a sore tummy, okay? <laughs> Who taught you how to make it? My mother taught me how to make the chop suey. Yeah. I mean like every other Samoan, everybody's got their own <laughs> recipe. Yeah. And you do it the way you like. Is there any times you've told us all to be quiet and just be grateful for whatever you've made anyway? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> My net has been so polite, but we've had candles and bubbles thrown at us. <laughs> True story. How do you think I'm going so far? Good? Yeah, good. Bit bigger, but uh, we have to cut a bit down. <laughs> Missed out this one. <laughs> one cup of water into a pot. Just just to fry the meat. Fry the meat up a bit. Peel the onion. Not too small. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough for a Bunnings barbecue. Cut that. Into small bits. Somebody will choke. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, vermicelli. My nana's very particular. She said make sure it's this one, okay? This one. Mm. I was confident that it was supposed to take the string off it. My said, don't take the strings off. I, no, don't take the string off it. It's covered enough. Part of every Samoan diet is salt. It's not <laughs> measured. It's just by, you know, feel. It's muscle memory now. So you've made it the same way all your life? Yeah. <laughs> I'll never change. Just <laughs> a little bit. Half a litre. <laughs> when you cook food like this, does it remind you of home? Does it remind you of back in Samoa? Always. <laughs> Stephen, can you stir oh, the pot? Yeah. Guys, I've graduated. I'm allowed to touch the oven. Ooh, and add in. I was told that I had to get this soy sauce. This one, it's sun gold soy style sauce thick. You have to get the right soy sauce because some soy sauce, it looks dark, but it won't make the chop suey go brown. Oh, yep. And guys, for you plastic Samoans out there like myself, um, this is also gluten free. How much? Just tip it down. Yeah. More? Yeah, leave it there. Is there a, such a thing then as a Samoan cookbook or does every Samoan just go off feel? Yeah, and they, they just go know? off feel. <laughs> <laughs> See, every dish is they unique. They started off with the cooking book and then they just do their own recipe. <laughs> Follow the heart. All right, we're doing the vermicelli now. It's all softened up because of the warm water. We've cut it to size and now we're putting the vermicelli in the pot and stirring it all up. Put some more in? Yeah, just chip some more. Oh, oh not me guessing. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. It's starting to look like Pacifica, you know, when everybody's trying to sell you their suppers. That's the last part of it. <laughs> and that smells delightful. <laughs> Ready for this? Ready for this greatness? It's out of a lava, or a wing, or on the side to feel your part. Maybe it's so yellow. I'm trying to have a no, but I'm going to find out. If I see a upu, pupu, and they tie out, I'm trying to have a yas of a young aina, and a tattoo what to know. Samoa, or the photo on a lava in a tattoo. So far, so far.